So, new day and new work. I found some time to work today on my airplane. And today, what I'm gonna do actually is, again, page 6.3 and we're continuing. If you remember last time I finished, I just put a skin on my, um, on my um, vertical stabilizer and I just clicked it all around the, the, the place. So now, I have to do a next step. I have to actually go with final drill of holes, come onto the skin and skeleton with 40 size drill. So I have just to match drill each and every hole and there's lots of holes here. So I guess it's gonna take me some good amount of time. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna continue with um, like some screws, like the uh, drilling the inter in inner holes, like match drilling. And after that, we're gonna go with the um, disassembly of everything. And after that, we're gonna obviously like clean everything, deburr all the holes, and well, pretty much the same what we did before, right? So let's do it. Well, uh, some hint here. So the way how I put my clickers uh, originally is was not correct actually. You see I put somewhere I put one, 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 like one after another. Here I put like one space, one space, one space. So, well, probably you should put initially all of them or let's say most of them. But before you do a much drilling, I would recommend to put them clicker, empty hole. Click on empty hole, click on empty hole. And that's quite obvious, right? So first you do quick match drilling of, of all empty holes. After that you just move clickers by one to the left or to the right and match drill all other holes. That sounds simple to me and I'm sure it sounds simple to you. So that's just a quick hint how it's faster and more efficient to make a, the um, match drilling of the holes when you have lots of clickers and you want just to speed it up instead of going like I was doing on this line one by one, one by one. It seems to me quite simpler. So I disassembled back the vertical stabilizer uh, as per instructions and now I have to deburr all holes. Well and basically again recheck each and every hole and part before I will do a priming on it. And coming back to the um, story and question about those three parts which are actually in the front of the uh, vertical stabilizer. So, you remember I was saying that, I was reading that those nose parts, like the front part, has to be made around it uh, to avoid uh, damaging and bending of the uh, aluminum skin. So I did that and it's still not enough. I got a little, little tiny like bumps on my uh, aluminum skin. Now when I remove that, I check, well, so far it's not that bad still, but I have to work more on those noses and make all three parts, noses, more rounded, like basically cut them a little bit. Otherwise I'm risking to bend and damage my skin. I mean, not damage, but it's not gonna look nice, you know? We want everything, all surfaces to be very smooth and, and nice. So, well, let's call it my first mistake or let's call it just like something I have not 
done properly yet so I'm working on that and I have to I have to fix that before I will be reassembling my uh, vertical uh, stabilizer well not long time ago I was watching someone's video uh, I guess it was RV7 build and um, yeah, in the same manner people were using the soldering iron to basically cut the line in the plastic on both sides aside, uh, of the uh, holes and just basically remove the thin piece of the plastic. Well, we understand why we need that, right? Because we need the access to metal, because we want to dimple it, we want to debur it. Well, that's understandable. but. The thing is that my, my background is electrical engineering, right? So I'm an embedded developer and uh, not only programmer, but also the, uh, actually the electrical engineer. And soldering iron, irons for me is something, well, like a religion, you know? <laughs> well, not this type of, of course, because the soldering iron, uh, iron, I guess, is good only to, like, to, to solder like big wires, like, I don't know, 20, 22 gauge, 18 gauge wires. Well, the soldering irons I work with are with uh, adjustable power level and with totally different tips. Uh, but anyway, for me, like soldering iron using on the plastic, well, it's something unusual. But anyway, uh, I was always thinking, like when I was watching that video, are there any other ways to do that? Like maybe like cut with a knife, but well, probably knife is a bad idea because you will definitely scratch the aluminum surface. But anyway. Well, I, I would like to try that, and I'm sure this solution works, <laughs> because many uh, others before me did that, so let me gently try that, and I'll tell you how that works. So I have the soldering iron, it's not super powerful, but I'm sure it is powerful enough just to make a, a nice, uh, nice line on the plastic. So, yeah, wow, that actually works! <laughs> nice, I like that. Well, so the, my, that's my next step, as you could understand. I'm planning to, first of all, now open all holes on the both sides with the, like, remove that plastic. I need that in order to make a nice access to the holes for deburring for now, because I have completed all deburring of other parts. They are prepared basically for, um, for the primary, but I, I think there is some other step which I have to follow before I will switch to primary. I think a couple of holes still has to be drilled in those parts and deburred again. Well, so I will start to work on the deburring and dimpling of the holes in the actual skin. That's going to be my part for today. Well, I still have a good amount of time and my two young helpers, my two daughters are coming soon. So hopefully they're going to help me a lot with, well, with work. And yeah, that's, that's my plan for now. So deburring, dimpling and just continuing to work on the airplane assembly. Well, that's, that's my plan. Good weather, good day, and uh, I still have plenty of time. I must say it actually worked. Look, it, it, it's, it's quite nice. And uh, yeah, now soldering iron can do that too. So now I have to add to my mind that Soldering iron can not only the not is not only intended for component soldering but also for removal of the uh, plastic nice and clean removal of the uh, plastic from the outer uh, parts. Just keep in mind if your soldering iron has a sharp tip, I would just well I don't know like maybe like sand it or just deburr it a little bit just to make it less more like more rounded you know just to avoid scratching. Uh, my one was actually. Too sharp and I had to a little bit make it around it because well I don't really like the scratches I, you will still have probably very light scratches if you push hard but well probably that's fine anyway it's gonna be primed and painted so the primer will just cover that uh, tiny scratch but still if you don't want scratches at all if you are if you worry about that to so just round a little bit and uh, don't push hard just slowly move your soldering iron and uh, well it's gonna work and you see you're gonna have a result like that probably even better than me
it's time to dimple and actually I just made a small little tiny table here just like recommended by by, by many people who already uh, passed through that well basically so it's time to try to dimple I put a correct uh, set here well uh, just let's see how it's gonna look like and uh, well, I hope the results will be good Okay, Maria. Yeah. Uh, so what you need to do, just pull down. Like that? Yeah, until you feel like it actually dimples. You, you can you feel it? Yeah, it's already there. Look, you see, it's already there. Okay, let's move to the next one. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Now next hole. Go slowly down. Slowly, slowly. Like go, that? go, go, go. Yeah, like that. Good, good. Now push. Okay. Not that, not, not that hard. Not that hard. You see? You dimple it. Good. Okay. Slowly, slowly. Let's go. Go down, go down, go down, push, good, push up, pull up, okay, push down, slowly, okay, very good, very good, next, very good, okay, pull it up, slowly, slowly, go down, Top. wait, wait, go down, slowly, okay, up. you see, you can feel it, right, you can feel it, can you? Slowly. Okay, pull, put up, pull up. Okay, good. Elizabeth, put it down. Down. Good, push. Okay, put it up. Wait, wait. Okay. Let's pull it down. Wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't rush. Okay, put it down. No, no, down. More. More force. Good, put it up. You see, you dimple it. Now, next one. Slowly, slowly. Don't rush, don't rush. Put it down. No, no, down, down. What is someone? Okay, do it. More, 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 more force. Good, put it up. Good, wait, now wait. Dimpling for almost all holes for the vertical stabilizer uh, skin is completed, except two holes here and two holes on opposite side are very hard to reach using that dimpler, C type dimpler. So basically the one before the last is still possible to reach and I was able to do that. I just completely removed that bed uh, which I built and by bending a skin a little bit up I was able to reach. But the last hole it's not possible to reach using that dimpler. It's probably a known issue. So we're going to be using a standard, uh, this type of the uh, dimpling tool to dimple that hole. And well, basically that's it. So I'm going to dimple that hole right now. And this is going to be the last hole. I already did the same one on the opposite side. And our skin dimpling is completed now.
page 63, all 11 steps are now completed. Well, it was a really productive day today. And uh, I did lots of things, lots of dimpling, lots of drilling, lots of counter thinking. Well, it's cool. It, to be honest, it's cool and uh, I like it. I like the process and uh, well, hopefully I haven't made any mistakes. <laughs> I hope so. I will recheck it. It's already evening and it's time to finish and go back home. But uh, for now, yeah, it's a productive day and certain steps out of page 6.3 are done. And um, the next time when I come back here to work, I will be starting with the next page and next part. Well, so far so good. See you later, next time when I start to do the next step and the next page.